Healing Our Healthcare Heroes came to be in a way that was pretty organic. We were spending a fair amount of time in hospitals and just seeing how slammed doctors and nurses were in different departments. And when the pandemic hit, what we realized was this was only gonna get worse. We don't have a lot of times to get in touch even with our emotions because we don't have that capacity. It's either my regular 12 hours, 16 hours, 20 hours every single day. And it became a routine. You don't know what to feel. You're almost like numb. I work on one main, which is a critical care floor, step down from the ICU. It's intense, it's fast paced, a lot of critical thinking. I've been there for 20 years. You care for people in their time of need, and it's a beautiful thing. One of my passions in life is to help keep healthcare professionals who want to stay in the game to stay in the game because burnout is rampant in our ranks. I mean, it's estimated that at least a half of us suffer from burnout, which includes feelings of low self-esteem or disconnection from our patients. What I like about 1440 is that it provides a very broad menu of wellness interventions. 1440 has really become a container where healing happens. And what we're finding in having these programs is that these nurses that come here are in community and they can talk about the grieving that they've gone through and they continue to go through and they can walk in the forest together and they can share meals together and they form a beautiful community that doesn't happen anywhere else. I had the opportunity to come here two years ago. I was a mess. I was truly a mess. And so when I saw this opportunity, I applied and it was an amazing journey. It was a healing journey. Um, it's an, I've never been to a place just like this. It feels like home. It resonates with my spirit. I feel a lot of peace here. Didn't believe in meditations. Didn't believe in, you know, I have to like get in touch with my soul. So coming in yesterday was kind of like an eye opener. The first session that we had, of course, it was rewarding. Today was even more rewarding. Didn't realize that I had so much inside me that I was just brewing, keep on piling up, piling up, piling up. And now slowly it's coming out. We have wonderful faculty. We have some fabulous curriculum that is delivered on these subjects from people in the medical profession, from doctors themselves studying the challenge of being a doctor or a nurse. And it's also true that in many of the cases, the exchange between people acknowledging the needs and then supporting one another as participants in the program has been as powerful as anything that was said from the stage. We need to eliminate the stigma of talking about mental health. We need to create safe cultures where it's okay to talk about the things that are truly important. At one point towards the end of the grief session, they asked us to pick two rocks, one to keep and one to put down at the base of a beautiful redwood tree. It was powerful the first time and it was powerful the second time and I can't say enough good things about it. One of the ways we measure the impact of the program is by how many people we've seen come through here. And today, that number is over 2,500 people. Since 2022, I've sent about three cohorts so far. So what we've seen with this program is it's helped with our unit staff retention. And on top of that, they've also brought back creative ideas, such as leading projects related to wellness in our hospital. The Healthcare Heroes program is just getting its legs. And what I hope to see is more of this cross-pollinating where different doctors and nurses can come from a lot of different hospitals and talk about different experiences in different locations and different areas and just share experience. A lot of healthcare leaders and administrators have came to me on what makes this program so special. So I always tell them that this is what's needed. If you want to improve on your patient's staff engagement and also nursing retention, this is the key to that. I've spoken at and attended wellness retreats for physicians and nurses and other health providers nationwide for over 15 years and nothing comes close to what 1440 does for its guests. I was just thinking about those few nurses that shared that they were so distraught that they were considering taking their lives. Yeah. And how they felt differently coming 
out of a 1440 weekend. And that alone feels like it's made such a big impact on me personally. I think all of us here that we know that we've helped a few people make a decision not to end their life. It's life changing because you go out of here with a new perspective of new hope and new tools to, to live well.